Hi friends, let's look at a tool called Llama Extract from Llama Index. With this tool, we can extract information in a structured way from unstructured documents. Here is an example. From an unstructured resume, we have extracted the skills as a list, the summary, and then the education details, the experience with start date, end date, so and so forth, and some highlights. Here is another resume and another resume. Okay, we will look at the input resumes, how they look like. All right. Um, so here we have two invoices, uh, which are in different format, as you can see from here. Now let's look at uh, the resume as well. So here we have the resume, accountant two, and then uh, it's a typical resume, somewhat structured, somewhat unstructured data, right? Now let's see how we can use this tool to extract predefined information in a structured format, all right? Now, in order to use this tool, uh, we need the API key from Llama Cloud. Uh, just sign up, uh, it's free. All right, so the schema we can provide in three different ways. Uh, one, we can let the tool automatically infer the schema or we can explicitly provide the schema in the form of a JSON dictionary or using Pydantic, okay? So set your API key and then, so within this folder, I have three resumes uh, which are uh, similar to uh, the one we just saw, okay? Like this, all right? So we have three resumes and then from Llama Extract, uh, just import this or instantiate this extractor object. And in order to extract or infer the schema, we can either provide one or multiple documents. Okay, so for example, here we pick up the first document and then using the extractor here, we are inferring the schema. Okay, now this job is actually running on the Llama cloud. That's why we need the API key. Okay, all right. So this job uh, gets submitted. Uh, just give the schema a name and an example file. Okay, so that will give us a uh, an ID for the job and also the data schema, okay? So this is the default schema extracted given the resume, okay? So it has these required fields, summary, highlights, experience, education, and skills. Now within each, we have multiple fields, okay? For example, skills, it's a type of array and each element is a string. Now, the summary is the simplest, it's just a string, but in edu within education, we have four required fields, degree, major, university, graduation year. And then for each field, here we have the type, the expected format, okay? And then we have experience, uh, the job title, the company name, location, so and so forth, okay? So all this is inferred uh, and finally we have highlights. All this is inferred just given uh, this uh, resume. Where is it? Yeah, just given this resume. All right, now let's see how we can, now that's the default uh, infer schema, right? Now, if you are interested only in particular uh, fields, uh, we can explicitly set the schema either in the same JSON format uh, with the fields we are interested in or in the form of this uh, Pydantic where here uh, we are importing the base model and then uh, our schema is going to be this resume which contain two fields, education and summary. Okay, summary is a straightforward string and education itself is another base model uh, with these five attributes. Okay. All right, once we define the schema, uh, we can extract uh, the data uh, from all the documents. All we need to do is 
invoke this async extract provide the schema this could be infer schema or pydantic or json schema and then simply provide the path where you have the files okay all right so we have three documents three resumes uh, uh, again this command is also running on llama cloud okay not on your local machine okay let's look at uh, the first one okay so this is how it looks like here we have the skills accounting uh, some accounting soft software adobe analytical skills so and so forth and then we have a summary two line summary here and then we have the education all right uh, the experience uh, multiple experiences and finally we have uh, some highlights okay so as per the schema the data uh, has been extracted now every time we create a schema and run a job uh, it's stored on llama cloud so for example i ran these four jobs uh, if you look at let's say this pydantic schema uh, where we have uh, only the summary and education with these five fields right so here we have the summary and education with these five fields that's resume number one resume two and resume three all right and invoice yeah this is invoice we'll come to that in a second all right so we have extracted the data and from the results uh, so from the extraction results uh, here we are just printing uh, the education okay so as expected resume 2 resume 3 each has the four mandatory fields major degree university and graduation year okay so that's all uh, with this tool but let's see how we can use uh, this structured information right once we have this information in the form of json uh, using llama index uh, we have json uh, query engine right so first we just prepare the data as a list uh, which is simply list of dictionaries right each dictionary represent one resume all right and then uh, we import this json analyze query engine and we need an llm uh, we are just using uh, open ai and just uh, instantiate uh, your engine uh, with the data which is the list of dictionaries and then the llm now you can start asking the questions okay so here we are asking tell me about a can tell me about candidates from university of Austin. we have only three resumes and only one candidate uh, was from houston so here is the response from the llm okay now within this response if we look at the metadata uh, that will have the sql query uh, so select star from items so item represent uh, the resumes uh, where education like university of houston okay all right i'll just show you one more example uh, so as we saw uh, so here we have uh, two uh, invoices uh, which are in different formats right significantly different formats now here is the output this is how the output look like so in this json schema i just define just three uh, attributes date amount and the invoice number so invoice one invoice two uh, this is just duplicate the job is run twice but as you can see even when we have a different unstructured documents we can define a schema to extract the information in a structured format which we can use for rag or any other application okay that's all for this video uh, thank you very much